Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to yet another Lego Harry Potter playset review. This is the mother load of all Lego Harry Potter playsets, Hogwarts. It is a whopping $130. It's a lot, but trust me, as you can see from all of those Legos made to make that gigantic playset, it's worth it. Along with all of those characters and a very limited amount of accessories. Well, anyway, uh, this is a really good playset if you're an advanced Lego uh, playset builder or if you just want to have some fun for the weekend. Maybe with the family, I don't know. So, um, but you have to be pretty hardcore to pay $130 for all of this but it's really fun trust me so let's just sit down here and let's move on to the characters Harry Potter Ginny I meant Hermione Doy. I'm stupid sometimes Hermione Granger Albus Percival Wilfrick Brian Dumbledore yes I memorized his entire name pretty long actually um, uh, Minerva McGonagall, Severus Snape, Blech. Professor Flitwick, Argus Filch with his cat, Mrs. Norris, Lord Voldemort, and not one, but two Dementors. Harry has, um, all the basic components, uh, uh, Hogwarts uniform, regular moving legs and arms, uh, regular brown wand, uh, his second face, uh, his first face is like, yeah, sweet, like, casual, sort of, uh, and his second face is like, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, Hermione, the exact same thing, she has a second face too, it's like, oh, hey guys, to like a stern look like what are you guys doing Dumbledore has a second face it goes from well it's the exact same thing only except it's him without his glasses had to take his hair off uh, Minerva McGonagall uh, she does not have a second face, but she comes with a cool gigantic hat. Look at it compared to her body. And she does not have any moving legs. Um, it's just like a gown, sort of. And she does have a cape. She does have a cape. Uh, Severus, no second face. Regular moving body parts, uh, moving legs. Black wand, though. Uh, sorry. Uh, Flitwick, uh, Professor Flitwick, uh, since he is shorter than everyone else at Hogwarts, uh, his legs are smaller, so you cannot move them. Uh, no second face, but he still looks pretty cool. Argus Filch, no second face, but, uh, his costume goes down to his pants, uh, you, if you can look closely on his... His left, our right leg, um, you can see his keys that go from his waistband, and he does not have a wand since he's a squib, but he carries a key and a lantern. Mrs. Norris looks a lot nicer than she does in the movies. Voldemort, no second face, a cape, creepy as always, a pearl white wand. Ugh. The Dementors, these are not suction cups, they're plastic, hard plastic, they're just meant for them to stand up. And I was really stupid, but I thought that these were fans, so you could use them as remote controls and make them fly like me. Oh, that was really stupid, but actually they do have second faces. They go from blank faces with a few wrinkles on the side to the same thing, 
only except their mouth is open like they're gonna do the Dementors kiss. Which, if you're not a Harry Potter nerd, then wait, if you aren't, then why are you watching this video? <laughs> but if you aren't, then it pretty, that Dementors kiss is when they suck your soul out of you through your mouth. Creepy, I know. But if you uh, lift up their um, cloth, you can see that they're pretty much a skeleton underneath. With, oh, sorry, they're a skeleton underneath. Arms, and look, even this moves and everything, like legs, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Their uh, hats are hard, though, these little hoods right here. Right here. So then the accessories include Harry's invisibility cloak, and which is strange this black broom with the silver part in the middle it looks pretty cool to me it looks like a nimbus 2001 um, nimbus 2001 the second best racing broom awesome so that concludes the characters now let's move on to the playset itself it is um combined of four parts there is this basic part right here this entire fat piece, which is the Great Hall, this tower with, see look, this is pretty cool. Yeah, just like in the movie, uh, just this tower, normal tower, and then right here, uh, just basic bit stranger tower. Now, I'm just going to put this down, and we are going to turn it around. Oh, also, these little parts, they have hinges right here. Uh, there's also one right here and one right here. No, but the one right there. In there. But if you look right here, there's another place for uh, for uh, another part of Hogwarts that you can attach. That's sold separately. They just came out with it. And who knows, maybe I will get it and build it and do a review and an animation for it. We'll, we'll see. So, okay, sorry. Back to turning it around. Ugh, it's huge. Well, okay, let's fix everything up. Straight. And, okay, here it is. Let's start right here on the right. This whole part right here is pretty much Dumbledore's office. Here's the sorting hat. Look, it has a face on it and everything. And uh, the, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I got tongue tied. The sword of Gryffindor, little bat right there. Here's Dumbledore's office itself. And there is the chair. Hang on, okay. There's this chair and his desk, which there's a magnifying glass and the Daily Prophet, and then here, I guess, is a magical orb or something. A uh, crystal ball, yeah. Then here is a, a shelf with some potion vials and stuff, and a frog on top. More potion vials, and that's pretty much it. It's really cramped and everything, though. If you go down here, uh, sorry, there is this. It's his spiraling staircase. There's no gargoyle or anything. Pretty you hold this part right here, and you take your finger right up here, and go. And you just bring it off to the side, and whoa! A magic staircase appears! Boop, 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 and it leads up to Dumbledore's office, which is pretty cool. Let's put that down. Place it right there. I'm going to put it right here. Now this is the trophy room, which is kind of hard to identify because there's only one trophy thing right over there that uh plaque it says J it says seeker james potter harry's dad and then there are some goblets next to it so just like in the sorcerer's stone it's that plaque that they saw and then here is just a random chest of things i wonder what's inside seriously i don't know huh a jewel and then this little note I have no idea what this note is. It's been so long since I've looked at it. Okay. It says, You are far more powerful than you would ever imagine. Insightful. Never mind. Uh, let's move a bit more to the left. And here's the Great Hall. It's huge. There are two banners. Slytherin. Ugh. And Gryffindor. Yay! 
the chandelier here spins. And then there are two gigantic tables. And then there are there's one chair there and another chair there and then there's the headmaster's podium and then there's some axes in the background you know stuff like that door right over there and look there are these little uh, clear Legos right there move Slytherin banner and you can actually see through them see my finger it's the same thing right over there and then on this table it looks like a fruit cake or something like that and then right here is a turkey with the croissant and some cherries on a plate and another go and some more goblets. Sweet. Uh, let's move a bit more. And then right down here is the Slytherin common room, which includes uh, some chairs and a table and a clear uh, goblet, which is pretty cool. And right back there are some snakes and the Slytherin house crest. Up one right here. Stupid green dot. Uh, right here is a suit of armor with a spider next to it, that doesn't really matter. But what's really cool about the suit of armor is you can take it and turn it around. Sorry, the sword's in the way. You know, I'm just going to take that sword out. Pink. Or the suit of armor himself. Who cares? Just take him out. Well, anyway, pretend that there's a knight there. A suit of armor, and you turn it around, and oh, what's this? It's Tom Riddle's diary, a hidden secret place. I'm gonna go down there with a suit of armor. That's pretty cool. It's a secret hiding place. Up here is the Gryffindor common room. Just same thing as Slytherin. And two chairs, a table, clear goblet. But look right, and then uh, Gryffindor crest. But right here is the fireplace. In fireplace and in the back there is this little trigger right here and if you push it sorry if you push it a face appears and if you look really closely I don't know if you can tell but that's Sirius Black's face in the in the flames just like in the Goblet of Fire and in the Order of the Phoenix you know that's pretty cool and then right up here it looks like the Owlry sort of but the out, but in the movies and the books, the owlry is a whole separate building. Anyway, uh, three owls, uh, you know, one the snowy white, and those two look like barn owls. So let's go to the final column thing. Here is the vanishing cabinet, which is weird because well, the vanishing cabinet is in the removal requirement, but you can actually open this up and put someone inside. See those little bricks on the floor right there? You can place someone in there and just close it back up. Pretty cool. Go up one and here's the restricted section of the library. You can see the camera and the reflection. Well, the restricted section of the library. Look, I put a key in there and pretty much you can push these windows to the side and there are three books. Up one more is the final part of Hogwarts. The astronomy tower. Here is the telescope, and then I just put a rat up here. It doesn't have to be scabbard. You can, you you might want it to be scabbard, so you can pretend it is. So uh, yeah, that concludes Hogwarts play set. Huge, looks awesome. I know it is. I built it. It took me actually. Uh, non-stop about half a day which is actually really good so leave in the comments below what you think what other playsets I should do because well seriously I'm running out of playsets this is the last one I'm doing so now I'm just gonna have to save up my money and go and buy some more and it might be a bit longer than you think for the animation to show up because well, I'm waiting for um, the Deathly Hallows Part 2 to come out of theaters, so everyone who has, wants to see it can see it. So that's pretty much what it's going to be about. So fingers crossed that it's awesome. You know it will be because, well, I'm doing it. <laughs> Brag alert. Yeah, so uh, see you guys later. Bye. Check out my other videos.